Hey guys, it's Bodie with IPTVWire.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the most updated version of Kodi on any Amazon Fire Stick or Fire TV device. Now, it's very important that you follow the directions here as Kodi is not available inside the Amazon App Store, so we must sideload it on Fire TV devices. You'll see here, I'm on the Kodi Google Play Store page, and so if you have an Android device, you can install Kodi from the Google Play Store. And also a very important note here, because Kodi is available, available on the Google Play Store, I can be 100% confident that this application is legal to install and use on our devices. You'll see here it has over 50 million downloads and over 328,000 reviews. Kodi is one of the most popular applications available. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Kodi, this is right here. It says the Ultimate Entertainment Center, and I 100% agree. This is an open source media center where you can store movies, TV shows, games, live channels, Channels, photos, you can add music. There's so much that you can do with Kodi, and here's the compatible devices that Kodi is available on. Um, and just so much more that you can do with Kodi. It's one of my favorite apps. So now guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop over to my Amazon Fire Stick and show you how to install Kodi on a Fire Stick since it is not available in the Amazon App Store. So let's dive into my Amazon Fire Stick. All right, so I just plugged in my second generation Fire TV Stick 4K Max, but guys, this tutorial for installing Kodi will work on any variation of the Amazon Fire Stick or Fire TV device. So the first step that we need to do is install an application called Downloader. Again, Kodi is not available inside the Amazon App Store, so we must sideload it on our device using Downloader. So to do that, hover over Find, click Search, and I'm going to search for Downloader inside the Amazon App Store. You'll see here it already populates. I'm gonna click Downloader. And you should see an orange icon under Apps and Games for Downloader. Go ahead and click that. And that's going to direct you to the installation page for Downloader. Go ahead and click Download. And then give it a few seconds while Downloader is installing on your Fire Stick. All right, after the Downloader app has installed on your Fire Stick, there are some settings that we need to change before we launch it. So I'm gonna click the Home button on my remote, and this is very important that you follow along here. I'm gonna scroll over, then hover over the Settings icon on the far right, and I'm gonna scroll down and click My Fire TV. Once I do that, I'm going to click About. And then you'll see something here that says Fire TV Stick 4K Max or whatever version of Fire TV device you are using. And you wanna click this about seven times until you see the message on the bottom. No need, you are already a developer. Once you see that message, click the back button and you should see an option that says developer options. Now, once you see that, click developer options, click install unknown apps, and you should see the Downloader app right here. I'm going to click the OK button to turn it on. So I've now turned on the ability to install unknown apps using the Downloader app. So now I'm gonna click the Home button on my remote and I'm going to scroll down and you should see Downloader under Recently Used Apps as I just installed it. So I'm gonna click Downloader to launch it and then I'm going to click Allow, click OK once you see this Quick Start Guide and you have now installed Downloader on your Fire Stick. So after you've installed and launched the Downloader app, go ahead and click the search box here and I'm going to enter the following code, 298344. Now double check that for accuracy and then click go. And then just give it a few seconds here while you're being redirected to the IPTV Wire Quick Links page. All right, now once you're on the IPTV Wire Quick Links page, guys, the first thing I'd suggest doing is coming up top and clicking this icon with the three lines here. Go ahead and click that on the top right, click Add Current Page to Favorites, click Save, and that way our Quick Links page is saved to your favorites inside Downloader if you wanna come back and access it again in the future. So I'm gonna X out of this message on bottom, and then I'm going to scroll down, and right away you'll see Kodi Media Center. And you'll see here I have the most stable release available, which is Kodi 20.2 Nexus. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And then once you click that, the download should begin. So just give it a few seconds or a minute here while Kodi is downloading on your Fire Stick.
All right, after Kodi is downloaded, then you wanna click install and then give it a few seconds for the Kodi application to install on your Fire Stick. And then once you see app installed, go ahead and click done. I wanna come back here and click delete. I like to delete these installation files. So click delete, click delete again. And then I'm going to click the home button on my remote. Now you'll notice I don't see anything up here towards my apps, towards the front of my apps list. So I wanna add Kodi here and to do that, scroll over and click this icon here that looks like the applications icon. Go ahead and click that. And that's gonna launch your apps and channels. So once you've launched that, scroll down and you should see Kodi right here towards the bottom of your apps and channels list. Now I'm gonna click the options button on my remote with the three lines, click move. And this is going to allow you to move any application you want towards the front of your apps list. So I'm gonna click OK to drop it, click the home button on my remote, and you'll see Kodi is now towards the front of my apps list. Now guys, before I launch Kodi, just something very important that I would suggest doing is I would suggest connecting to a reliable VPN. Now Surfshark VPN is my number one recommended VPN at IPTV Wire. And guys, I do have a special discount link for Surfshark VPN that you can find below this video and that will get you the best discount while also supporting myself and this channel. Guys, Surfshark is my number one VPN for several reasons and I will leave a link to every VPN video that I've covered Surfshark in on my channel, so I don't have to explain it all in this video. I would just suggest connecting to Surfshark VPN whenever you're using a third party or application outside of the Amazon App Store. So now that I'm connected to Surfshark VPN, I'm gonna go ahead and launch Kodi. And then once you launch Kodi, you're gonna get some messages here, click continue. And then you wanna hit click allow while using the app, click allow again and then just give Cody a few seconds here while it is booting up for the first time. All right, so this is the home screen of Cody and that's it guys. That is how you install the latest version of Cody on any Amazon Fire Stick or Fire TV device. Again, this is Bodie with IPTV Wire. Appreciate you watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Be sure to like this video and guys, leave me a comment below. I do enjoy going through all of your comments in the comment section and I truly appreciate all the support that you guys have given me. Guys, I hope you all have a great day.